This guide is about the UI3 design and customization. How to define what feature panels will appear and where they will be placed in the menu. How to change colors, format or modify text and change icons. The game mode is where some important basic features are set. How the scene is controlled and what type of player character is used. The UI3 offers game modes for keyboard and mouse, gamepad, and touch controls. It also has a game mode for using VR headsets. This mode activates the headset. The interface is projected on a virtual tablet in front of the player. Game mode is set in the world settings of the main level. The S.UI3 game modes will appear in the list of game mode overrides. A game mode should be set first, before any other settings are applied. All UI settings are stored in the info map. Watch the getting started video if you haven't added the info map to your scene already. It's a good idea to choose one of the presets from the intended UI use list. This will set the text and image size and set the best color preset. All settings can be adjusted afterwards. The UI appears as a row of main buttons on top of the screen. Clicking one of the buttons will open a panel containing one or more feature widgets. The layout of the interface is created by adding array elements to the main menu layout array. Every element represents one of the main buttons. The buttons can have a name and an icon. Icons are in the folder UI Texas. Textures that are used in the UI should have their texture group set to UI and their compression settings set to user interface so they don't get blurry. Custom icons work best when they are square with black lines on white background. Array elements can be moved within the array using the six little dots in front of the element. Menu item is by default set to standard panel. Alternatively, a main menu button can also be a simple button, like an exit button. Simple buttons don't work with game pads. Feature panels array elements represent a feature widget for the selected main menu button. The panels will open when the button is clicked. The type of the widget can be chosen from the feature type list. Some features can be placed more than once, like the features with preview or the designer widgets. They need the feature ID to identify which one of the feature widgets is meant to be placed. Check the documentation and video for those features for more info. All other features will ignore the feature ID. The actual settings for the widgets are modified further down in the info map details. Color presets affect the general look of the interface. They can be fine-tuned in the advanced section. All main menu button icons can be set to be hidden, and their size can be changed. Button icons are icons that function as a button in the widgets and non-button icons are just images. Hint icons are used in the edit mode widget to indicate what kind of object is under the mouse cursor. Incremental margin is the margin from the left side multiplied by the button index. So the widget panels move further to the right. A margin of 0.0, .0 will keep all widget panels on the left side. Menu delay is the delay before the menu is created and the screen fades in. It can be increased to avoid access none errors if nothing else helps. The advanced panel design section contains icons that are not part of the feature widget settings in the info map. Button icon array contains all icons that are used within the widgets. The icons can be replaced one by one 
if desired. Their order and position within the array should never be changed. Text format and sizes can be set in this section. Changing the font family will affect all text in the UI. There are a few alternatives available in the folder UI etc. Fonts. The font family actor needs to have a default and a bold font version. Check the Unreal documentation on how to add custom fonts. All text sizes are initially set by choosing a UI preset. They can be modified here afterwards. All text that is fixed within the widget and is not added as part of its settings can be translated or modified here. The text is split in a few arrays for practical reasons. The text can only be replaced one by one and the position of it should never be changed within the array. The index of the array element is used as a pointer for the text in the widget. The next video will be about settings regarding the scene itself. Scene settings are set in the Info Map Settings sections. They will be applied when the scene starts, no matter if the widget is visible in the UI design or not.